the way I felt, I want to, I want to, you know, I want to continue feeling that way. So, so yes, things are gateways. Now, for a not for a girl who's not listening to non-Jewish music and she's going to exercise to non-Jewish music, she's gonna like it. It does something to your body that Jewish music doesn't. Well, Raya, if Jewish music could do that to your body, then we'd have jumbo. Right, we do Jewish music. And we tried Jumbo. We tried, or not tried, we tried, and some of the Zumba women who run Zumba said, you know what, Rabbi Wallstein, we'll give it a shot, we hear you. We'll give it a shot. We're going to put on some crazy Israeli music, right? Metal music, whatever it is, Jewish music, right? And the girl, the women who went said, we are not coming back, we do this again. <laughs> so what does that mean? That means that the Jewish music, for some reason, and listen, I was the Jewish music, I got a Boshav band in my car right now. You can dance to that, trust me. You can jump and dance to that music, right? But that music doesn't do it. That music doesn't do it for me to make me dance, make me exercise. And I have to ask myself, why? Why isn't it doing it for me? So you have these Jewish kids who, who struggle and really only listen to Jewish music. And now all of a sudden, you're giving them a gateway because they're feeling things they never felt before. So yes, for the girl who's going to a club, who's going with guys, who's anyway listening to, to, to non-Jewish music. So yeah, going with, with women where there's no men, right? And dancing just women where there's no men and you're not in a club. Of course that's better. There's no shy love that that's better. But if that's not what you're doing, and you, you are not listening to, to, to non-Jewish music, and you're not going to clubs, so then why don't you exercise to Jewish music? So that's really what I was saying, but they went to my room they took my share, and what they did is they pulled it apart. But there's something that's really been bothering me, and I'm going to put it out to Clyde Shaw. And if you want to email me about it, I have no problem. I got attacked. I mean, I don't even want to show you, but you guys read the blog, so you know. They called me every name in the book. Schulz canceled me from speaking. The Schulz I was supposed to speak in, in a while from now. They said, the women don't want him. Why? He spoke against Zumba. Seriously, And the husband said, that's in your wife. So I, I'm thinking to myself, I'm thinking to myself, this whole thing that happened, what did I do? Did I speak about against Jews? No. Did I speak about women? Against women? Jewish women? Who my whole life is on Alba Teres Nava Ben No. Did I speak about against marriage, against helping people? Why is everyone so excited? Why are they so hurt? Spoke about a dance exercise? <laughs> Remember, Wallstein spoke against a dance exercise, and you're willing to hang up, cancel him? What did he speak against? A dance exercise. Imagine I got up tonight and said, I am against weightlifting. Now watch it. You're cutting it right now. You're going to come out. Wallstein speaks against weightlifting. Right? So imagine I got up there and said, I am against weightlifting. And all of a sudden I'm getting hundreds of emails from guys. What is wrong with you? Stay away from our shul. Don't ever, we're not going to listen anywhere. I'm trying, I used to listen to your shir. I used to come to the night to Chabura. Never coming back. You spoke against weightlifting. Weightlifting? That's what you're worried about? So, so what, what bothers me is, why is Klai Yisrael getting so excited about Zumba? It's not a person. I'm not speaking against a person. I'm speaking against an exercise. And I'm speaking about the non-Jewish music for women who only listen to Jewish music. Why is everyone getting so excited? And it bothered me. I mean, if you want to hang me for something that I would say against Jewish people, or, or, or but against an exercise? And I thought to myself, why are these women, why is everybody so upset? And then I figured it out. See, when you speak about something, at the same time they did this whole thing with me, there was a group of anti-Semites in America, some kind of organization called the Scholars, something organization, at the same time came out that they said, you know, that the, all these scholars, that th it's a protest, and nothing is, no Israeli um, students, no Israeli information, right. a terrible thing against us and Israel, right? I didn't see any blogs. I didn't see any emails. In Brooklyn College, they got up pro-Palestinian against Israelis. They called them Nazis. They called us, they called the Israeli government Nazis. They came here to, to, uh, 
the book of college right here. I don't see any of you guys. I don't see any, any blogs. I didn't see any women, thousands of women going, and listen to this. Wallerstein's canceled from shuls and organizations because he had the chutzpah to speak against an exercise. But our Jewish children are still going to Brooklyn College. When they openly have a club, right, a Palestinian club that's anti-Israel, anti-Jews, they call us Nazis, the guy that's behind it got up and spoke, came to Brooklyn College, nobody pulled their child out of Brooklyn College. Mm -hmm. But Zumba, we're out. <laughs> not going to be here anymore. Go send me. I got emails. I'm not going to be here anymore. I'm like, I listen to you on tour. I never listen to you again. Brooklyn <clears throat> College, nobody moved. To speak against Eretz Yisrael, to speak against the Jew, no problem. Speak, but I spoke against Zumba, they went crazy. So I'm trying to figure out why. I figured it out. I wouldn't tell you this if I didn't figure it out. But figure it out. Because Israel and Brooklyn College has nothing to do with me. Because I'm, I'm just as guilty. I should have been there in Brooklyn College. I should have been protesting. Right? I should have been protesting. What is this? You come into Flatbush? You come into, into a Jewish, into us? Into, in, into a college that has a Hillel house, or whatever, and you're getting up and you're calling, you're calling Israel Nazis? Right? I should have been there. How come I wasn't there? How come all you guys weren't there? And the answer is, because it wasn't affect us when we were kids. So, some guy got up and said, well, when you guys, you, who cares? There's nothing to affect us. Israel's not here. I don't live in Israel. Oh, he would have said something about Avenue J. Oh, oh, oh. We would have gotten it, right? He said something about Israel. I have a good day. I, I spoke about something that they're doing. I spoke against an exercise, but I'm doing that exercise. How dare you spoke against my exercise? So when it becomes yours, when you're doing something, right, then all of a sudden you get very affronted and you get very, very hurt. But it's very sad in my head that we reacted, right? Whether you agree with me, you don't agree with me. You listen, I talked about, talk about Facebook my whole life. And I talked about, you know, the internet my whole life. Nobody went crazy. Nobody said anything. Wallstein's against Facebook. But this is something that you do. When you do something, right, everybody got insulted. Nobody used to get insulted. It's, not, it's, not, it's, it's about an exercise. Nothing to get crazy about. But I want, I want to talk a little bit, even though it's a voice share. I think that this.